Alright, so what's up guys? It's Pandaponich here. I'm on mspaintsadventures.com slash question mark s equals 6 and p equals 007208. Now, if you don't want to know what that means, it's a bunch of bullshit that pretty much means I'm on sound act 6 in uh, intermission 3. Which means I am playing the game, playing as Mina. So, I will be doing a quick playthrough of this. It does constitute as a game. If you don't know what Homestuck is, well, uh, I would tell you about Homestuck, but that would take hours. So, I'm going to be playing through this uh, with my beautiful, beautiful voice. No self-respecting Alternian troll kid would dare keep a dry, unwatered lawn ring. Letting the grass outside your hive turn yellow is just begging to get yourself cold. Harsh but fair, you think? Good life on Artenia was so great. So, pretty much it's a water hose. Um, I like to find any secrets in these because, you know, I'm a boss. Um, an ordinary domestic dress, coffer, it's full of smelly garbage, but it hasn't been dragged outside the ring yet. Maybe the waste collection drone isn't scheduled to make a pickup tonight. Maybe it isn't. Uh, the door's locked. You knock, but no one answers. This seems to be an Alternian neighborhood. Aside from all the violence, Alternian culture seems like it must have been pretty similar to life on Before Us. <laughs> before Us. Before Us. Lawn rings and all. Then again, as a spoiled runaway princess, you never did spend much time in the burbs. So what do you know? Uh, uh, beast music. Uh, 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 get my mouse out of the pick. Well, no, I'm gonna need that probably at some point in time. Uh. <laughs> Better leave it alone, might have the troll rabies. What's down here? Nothing. Just some fodder. Hey, it's a chest! Ooh, that's a Tavros sprite. You got an Alternian soft drink. You're not really up on Alternian history, but apparently at some point the Empress got fed up with the subjugulator str strangle hold on the soda market and released a drink that was said to be more loaded with sugar than even the wicked elixir itself. The High Bloods considered such marketing reports to be blasphemous lies. However, and they were right, the beverage actually contained zero calories, which she secretly mandated so as to preserve her slim figure. But all the low bud suckers guzzled cans down by the billions, none the wiser. While the crafty Condess ranked in cash, if someone actually told you the story, you'd spend the next ten minutes fangirling on the floor. Hello? 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 Oh my god, it's it's a seahorse! Hello, seahorse! Examine. The hovering maritime stallion issues a stern, fatherly lead. No. <laughs> no. It's another coffer. I'm gonna go ahead and... Holy shit, it's a fucking wriggler. Hi, Mr. Wriggler. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read that. What? Some careless soul has left this poor infant grub all alone to fend for itself. So, in other words, just like all grubs on Antonia. Big whoop. Nobody cares. Um, this is Cronus. This would be Equius's, um, ancestor thing. Globes. What? I swore you have walking my way, and I had this smooth line all ready to go. But for some reason, I decided to open it with a tongue twister. Very nice, Emperor. Starting your killer line with three consecutive w w words in a row. What? Uh, was your killer pickup line going to be, or should I ask? Sigh. Never even mind. It's so ruined now. 
I just saw you strutting in my direction with all of your impressive moxie and confidence for the first time in how long? And I got a little excited. I was going to blow you out of the water with that line, but I guess nothing's changed. Guess not. Sounds like you're still the bard of tries too hard. <laughs> oh, nice. You've always knew how to twist the fork. Actually, all you girls are quite adept at twisting your respective utensils. The guys, too, now that I think about it. Can I ask you a question? Why do all you pretentious scene types enjoy being so cruel to especially sensitive and artistic people? So I take it even after a billion sweeps here with a boatload of eligible spook shorties to mac on, you still never got any action. <laughs> First you twist the fork, then you use it to pry into my personal life? That's really just so vile of you, Mina. Without commenting specifically on that, because seriously, what? So rude? I will say that it gets very frustrating after the first few v epics trying to make heads or tails of what people are even looking for. I mean, in any quadrant. Now, please don't tell anyone I said so, but you and I both know pretty much all these people should feel honored to go out with a guy like me. What being royalty and all, and not even slightly put off by dating down on the spectrum? I mean, really, how much more evident can I make it to everyone that I'm really a cool progress progressive easy going dude woo woo who doesn't take the social order seriously or buy into any of the stereotypes first of all as if the hemo spectrum scene isn't beyond planned out i barely ever even bring up my high social status it couldn't be less of a big deal to me, but I think people maybe are still intimidated by it. They're probably putting me on a pedestal, in spite of all my easygoing assurances that my royal lineage, lineage is something I never even think about. Like, no, friend, I am just like you. We laugh at the same jokes, listen to, well, to some extent, the same music. All these cats and kittens, I'm telling you, they're always drawn to the freaks and rejects. Oh fuck, I missed part of it. They never seem to give the time of day to a guy who woos sensitive and listens to people and sticks to his poetry and music. I guess just someone who tries to be there for them. How... Ever, the bright side of my various rejections is that it has helped me craft a private list of people who are objectively fucking terrible, but which I'd be happy to share. V Mina, where v where'd you go? Crud, she v walked away. Of a way, the while I v was saying stuff, really blue. V blue v that one in record time. Okay, I have to I have to go back and get something. Fuck. Yeah, I missed one thing in there. No, I fucking missed it again. God damn it. Okay, cats and kittens, cats and kittens, cats and kittens. Okay. 
you have uh, to be broken in some way to get a little concupiscent attention. Okay, there we go, got that. Okay, ask Cronus to join. I'm gonna make this quick, Cronus. And this ain't like a diving board for you to launch off about your feelings and rom probs, okay? Just give me a straight answer. I'm getting a posse together to kill an invincible monster. You want in? Yes or no? Whoa, nice! Just got here and you're already getting diabolical. That's the tops. I'd love to help. You know how I love to help out and there and be there for attractive people. That's kind of my thing. But oh, here we go. Mina, I just don't think I'm in that kind of space now in my life or afterlife. I mean, what space? An aggressive space. I've been trying to cool it, be more introspective, search my feelings, work on my music, grease my hair. I don't think I'd be much good in a fight. I've been trying to get in touch with who, with who, or I guess with what I really am. And I think I've been making some nice breakthroughs. I'm telling you this in confidence. But I think I'm approaching a kind of, of awakening, especially since I first started learning about humans. I think I actually might be. No. Nope. 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 Stop saying whatever that was. Do not care. You're right. I shouldn't burden you with my problems. Forget I said anything. I wouldn't want to compromise our friendship. Not even to speak of the potential for us to develop into something more than just friends. By which I mean to uh, people who freely engage in sexual intercourse. Oh right, you asked me how my music was going these days, didn't you? No. It's going pretty nicely, I think. Been messing with dual sawtooth wave forms. I think I really could be hitting on my signature sound. Here, listen to this track. I wrote it in anticipation of your arrival. Okay. Let's listen to this. Oh, I clicked it! Haha. <laughs> Wait, I probably shouldn't have shown you those. Okay, hold on. I know if I have something here you'll dig. So that was a no to my invite then. <laughs> Which you got rescinded halfway through this combo anyways. Time to jet before you sketch me out. Okay, wait, where's Carcat? <laughs> oh, the Vuantis look-alike? Yeah, he came by this way. I tried to start a friendly conversation with him, but he just flipped me off and locked himself in that hive up there. Looks like he conjured the memory of some sort of complicated puzzle door from some ancient ruins. I tried to open it, but it looks totally impossible. The kid sure know was how to give a, the, a guy the cold shoulder. But what do you want with him anyway? Nothing. Bye. Ah, I see how it is. Cronus gets the shaft. Well, you scurry away to flirt with some infantile loudmouth. Why am I not surprised? Guess I'm neither mentally unstable or a big enough asshole to catch your eye. No big deal. I'll just record my feelings on the subject through a bit of slam poetry and bubble my sorrows throughout the... Dot, 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 and, yep, looks like I'm talking to myself again. She's gone. <laughs> it's a regular. Okay, so I need heart. Oh, I need all of those. Okay, so. I've got the diamond key. I need the heart key. Oh, well. 
I got the car sickle. You absolutely love this due to its nautical nature. Also, holding items such as this will nicely complement you and in your increasingly manic obsession with car cat. Why do I have an obsession with car cat? I mean, I am real life car cat, but. You got a whole bunch of sea dweller bling. It's pretty obvious this all belongs to Cronus over there. He's not wearing it right now, so he can convince everyone he doesn't feel like his royalty status is a big deal, even though he does. You have no problem whatsoever selling the shit to the highest bidder, though. You pocket the gaudy loot while giggling. Hey. Thanks, Salmon. Bang, bang, bang. Is anyone home, you say? But of course no one is, because most of these highs are just memory projections. Um, that's just another hose and a thingamajig. Oh, it's a rifle. You got Ahab's crosshairs. You raise his on the heavens and watch it sparkle a bit just before you bring it down on your knee and snap it in half while laughing maniacally. You hear a muffled sob from Ampora's direction. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to go this way. I wanted to get this. Yeah. Thank you. Game Grub. This publication is absolutely dripping with exclusive grub leaks. Actually, it's a pretty disgusting magazine. Okay, let's go to the right. Oh. God damn it, Latula. Wait, that's not Latula, that's Solix. That's Michina. Pretty nice stunt there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to restart that. Hey, bro. <laughs> pretty nice stunt there. I offered a high five, but you sort of missed. By ten foot. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! Hi, Shit! Uh, it's cool, G. Don't wig out. Just take a rain check on it. More hand slaps where that came from, you know. No, let's do this. God. Um, damn it, I fell L down again. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, forget the high five. I don't want to be responsible for you hurting yourself. God, fill it, your nook, dude. You are foul and unpleasant as ever. <laughs> Thought Diane might have take took the edge off, but guess not. Kiff my charging thunkle, you th Man, what you gotta I fucking missed that. I gotta start over. Sorry. Uh... No, let's do this! Vix. Grod. Damn it. I fell down again. Uh, no, seriously. Forget the high five. I don't want to be responsible for you hurting yourself. God, fill it, your nook. Okay. Um. Kiss my charging tonkle, you. Th what is that? You skank, I think. Skank ass chum bucket. Man, why you gotta hate? And listen, bro, you better watch it with those slurs. Unless you want canker giving you the biz. I'm sorry. I'll keep this quick. Come right out and ask. You ever god tier tuna boy? Well, hot? No. Maybe I. Me. I don't. Don't. Okay. Look, take off your red shirt deal and let me see if you got wings. Hee hee hee! Yes! Thought you'd never ask. Came around to my willies, motherfuckers. Hold <laughs> up! Help now! Help! How do I take off my clothes again? <laughs> yeah, keep your shirt on. You made that exchange beyond awful. I'm sorry. You know of anyone else who might be God tier in secret? <laughs> no, but one cloud grower gnizes for. Bobble wide strip search. Starting with you. <laughs>
You are the worst. Can I take a skateboard? Hey, Tuna, you want to go help me kill? Haha, <laughs> I can't even finish this question while staying serious. No, but what do I, what I do wink? To man needs precarious, but mostly sustained balance on my tight ass fall down. <laughs> Mace grinned and some shit. What will you grind on? I volunteer. That thing to be. Ooh, you. Gross, bro. To know how Latula even deals. I'm sorry. But also, fuck you and your fucky chumpy fucky fuck frog humping grindy grind them right up your shifty flim soaked. Probe just fills uh, is suck as bitch is sucky suchy fuckity suck hole fucky fucky fuck fuck fuck. What the fuck <laughs> am I reading? Um, I don't want to be mid. If I be mid, nah. I'm gonna like fucking die. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that's the club key. Uh, anything up here? Yep. <laughs> yeah, if you hadn't noticed yet, this is going to be kind of a long-ass thing, guys. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Uh, if the audio is out of sync there for a second. Um, I had to pause the recording for a moment. So let's continue. We got a tarot deck. The inspiring seer would be crazy not to keep one of these on hand. Maybe we'll try selling it to Cancri later. Or that talkative broad in the orange nightgown. Am I going? Yeah, I'm not going down. I'm going up. Okay. Interdasting. Uh, that is. Continue memory. Only mule and can access this bubble. Oh, it's finally Gamsy. Oh, it's it's a spade key. I wanna uh, I wanna talk to Gamzee's ancestor, but there's so much to do. Guys, <laughs> I found a juju chest set. Oh my god! <laughs> Mewlin is the fucking cat. Oh no, it's troll blood. I love potion. Cameo Mal. <laughs> Action Claws. Ha! <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> nope, it's Mewile or. Well, I've got all of those now. Talk to Mule and. What's up, Mew? Mew Catface! Listen, 33333! Oh, do you mean in cafes? Oh, do you mean in your mouth? Whoa, well, Lijon. Your rumble spheres. Clam those suckers this instant. Cat face. No. I will not clam them. They will stay wildly and gleefully unclammed because, and I repeat, Mog. Mog. Mog, Mina. 
Mug. Idigi. Mina. Mug could not be any simpler. Dude. Fuck Mog. Oh wait, you mean Omg. <laughs> well, fuck that too. I know you can't physically monitor the volume of your piercing fangirly shrieks, but try to keep it down. Like, just be normal, excited for once. What? Or, should I say, fur pounce? <laughs> Mina, I missed you so much! Why didn't we ever hang out when we were alive? I had so much time to ponder that, and it's one of my deepest regrets. It was probably because you didn't like me very much. But, it's so cool. No one really did. What? That's not true. I'm sure I liked you, didn't I? I mean, I did try to kill you a couple of times. You did? I don't remember that. Water under the crossing trestle. Boat puns. Yeah! But, um, if you tried to kill me, shouldn't I be the one to say that to you? Mmm. The JJ, how about you shut up and go back to being excited to see me? <laughs> An adventure time chip. <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Oh my god. Can we please cool it on the shitty mimes, though? Seriously, can't understand what you're trying to say half the time. We have to catch up right away. You missed out on so much while we you were gone. Did I really? To be conch-nest, that sounds mad unlikely. You would not even believe the boring conversations I just slogged through with some of you glub and windbaggers. You so did, though. We've all been through a lot together since we died. I believe we've made a lot of progress in dealing with our personal issues and putting all our old differences behind us. Don't sound like you put much time into your fighting skills, though. Y'all do realize you might be on the verge of dying again, right? And the shipping! OMG, Mina, the shipping! Yeah! <laughs> you won't even believe who got together over the sweeps. And the quadrants! The quadrants they paired up in! It will blow your mind! <laughs> I don't think I can even convey how much. I just... I can't. I just... I peed a little. I am completely unable to can right now. <laughs> you don't understand, Mina. The feels. The feels! <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> feelings. Had a su suspicion this chat would evolve into gossip about who banged who. Let me know if you want to catch up on actual relevant shit sometime. Holla at you, girl Mumix. <laughs> so tell me, what exactly is the bullshit reason you can't join me to go fight Lord Bad Guy? You want me to go fight that guy with you? Oh, but I do not think that will be feasible. No shit. I don't want to completely wash my paws of this of the idea, but I just have so many balls of yarn in the air right now. So many potential ships to juggle. A busy hypothetical matchmaker's job is never done. That isn't anything even close to resembling a real responsibility. I don't want you to think a, I don't give a lick about joining your fight, but I just don't think I will be very useful. By the way, lick was a subtle cat pun. Do you know... It doesn't sound like you give much a carp about anything that isn't shipping or saying cat things. By the way, sound was a subtle pun pertaining to oceanic geography. Come on, Mina. Don't you want 
to relax just a nip before you go right off to rough hive some more? I heard you have taken a keen interest in Kankri's ancestor. Son of a fish. Well, Mina, is that true? Hmm? Even if it was true, which it is the very definition of ain't, how the shit could you have even heard something like that already? He, <laughs> it's true. I just know it. Dies. Yes, please do that. Do you want me to set you up with him? Before you say no, I urge you not to under underestimate the power of my romantic sorceries. You have been out of the loop for a long time, so you have no idea what kind of miracles have been wrought by the magic of heart, by the mage of heart. Now, before I work my magic, we should get one thing clear. Is your yearning red or black? I am only asking to be absolutely certain, but methinks there is barely any doubt about it. Someone is waxing scarlet for a louder... For a loud, younger Kankri. Hmm? Lijon? Are you reading my lips? Pretend you can hear me, and then I'm saying this so loud your kitty cat ears hurt. Shut. The. Fuck. Up. Don't set me up with a Nemony boy, okay? Just keep it in your friend fix. Right about us doing it or whatever. Just shut up. Oh, gee. Mm, I have the best idea for a fic like that. But don't worry. My policy with such licentious material is the same as it's always been. I will not show a soul until I've shown it to you and the younger Vantis and you both approve. I promise. Yay, another worthless conversation under my belt. Time to bounce. Be mulein. Sup, girl? Gonna get this out of the way. Oh, only curlos. Thank you, asshole. Hey, kitty kit. Yeah. Sup, boy? No, oh. gonna leave that there for what the fuck, Totodile and that thing. <laughs> what? No. I don't have a cod piece. Oh my god, I have a cod piece. Holy shit. Hey, brother. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm sorry, I've got a... T Excellent work, my mage. With this most righteous motherfucking pelvic apparel. The Wicked Ensemble is now complete. It must be delivered to the Bard of Rage at once, so that he may continue our lord's mirthful motherfucking work. All hail the one true messiah. Long live the angel of double death. May the Bard's righteous chuckle voodoos inspire nightmares in all who would oppose Calicorn. And may the jocular kitty of his vast honk ring loud and motherfucking true all the way to shangri -Lo. Church! Okay, that's enough of motherfucking that pious noise. Time to rendezvous with my homie killer and drop the special science on him. May this ludicrous pair of shorts astifest his holy mission and flummox all who would cast their unworthy gaze upon its fresh fucking bulge. A motherfucking men, my wicked kitty bitch.
Hunt. Woo! Kurzors, my head feels really foggy. What just happened? I don't even remember walking over here. Clap. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't worry about it. Kitty cat! Oh, <laughs> Gary's mon. Bubblegum! Here, man. Hunk. What's that? You have to go run an errand? Okie dokie, have fun. Fades into the background. Excuse me, motherfucker. Um... Wait, wait, I need to reread that. <coughs> okay, my throat right there. There is no need to approach the young misguided empress. She remains blissfully unaware of the machinations which transpire between the heroes of rage. Let her try to raise her pathetic army of souls. She will be double slain by the by our lord, like all other mirthless heretics. Honk! Honk. Holy fucking shit, man. Um, so, for anyone who's familiar with Homestuck, that means that, uh, <laughs> that gives us a pretty big clue to any rage players. Oh shit. But since this plan, you've had to be extra careful with your secrets. You've carved out an extensive network of virtual cattle. Leading to hidden treasures, black recollections, perhaps one or two illicit drop off points. Nice. Holy shit. Open. I got a crowbar. You got a juju breaker. It's extremely rare, dangerous, and perfect. The thought of destroying a precious juju makes your blood boil. You must be guarded carefully. You cannot let it fall into the wrong hands. You got a juju chest. Only a cherub can open it. You would be a double dying of curiosity to know what's inside, except for the fact that it would be heresy to even wonder. And you would bite your tongue for having the thought if you hadn't already chewed it off long ago. That's disgusting. <laughs> I come bearing the final jolly accoutrement, my faithful inverter brother. Thy bardly <coughs> regalia is done and fucking dusted by the special stars themselves. On this day, the dark carnival rejoiced and said it was money. Now bring to life our wicked ruse with a plomb, my ninja. Our lord awaits your servitude and tutelage at once. We shall now bust open these bitchin' elixir forties and pour some sweet swill out for the souls who soon won't be no more. Shut your motherfucking mouth and give me the card piece. Shut your motherfucking mouth. Okay, so Curlos is gone. <sighs> okay, do, what do I have in my Silidex? Okay, never mind, that's not my Silidex, that's safe. Uh, okay. What's up, girl? I'm gonna be you. Hey, guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and 
go back across the bridge here. Oh, my throat really fucking hurts from doing that. <coughs> Fucking dicks. Okay, well that's not anything important then. And I've got all the keys, so... So now we know... <coughs> we know what... <coughs> we know what rage players do now. Holy shit, ow. God damn. Hey, what's up? Grumble. Looks like someone's custodian is in a permanent silly mood today as well as all other days. God damn it. I did not mean to walk outside. God fucking. Hi, car cat. Hey, get the fuck out of my- Oh, it's you again! Sorry, for a second I thought Aridin's awful ancestor found his way in here. I didn't even know it was possible to be more of a shitbag than that guy, but somehow Emporer Teen Senior pulls it off. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't absorb it with my own aggravation sponge. Just incredible. Yeah, Vantus is gonna clue you in on something. Most of my crew is hex of dreadful to be around. I know! How is it even possible for a group of people to suck so much when they're presumably almost genetically identical to a bunch of people I like? Maybe it's the age difference, or the fact that they all grew up on a planet for lame pansies who are, at, who are civically obligated to wet themselves daily. <laughs> I have to admit, meeting all our ancestors like this has been kind of over overwhelming. I kind of had to get away from everyone and be alone for a while. Hopefully, I'll just fucking wake up soon. Oh, uh... You want I should step off? Uh, no, that's okay. You're actually fine, mostly. I just couldn't take another encounter with Red Sweater Guy. He's left my head spinning, and not just because he never shuts the fuck up, for a long time, I didn't even believe we had ancestors. I thought even the concept of ancestors was just superstitious, ego-stroking, aristocratic bullshit. But not only does it turn out you're all real, but apparently you had this whole different culture in an alternate universe before us? Sorry, that's a lot to take in. Wait. Oh no. No. Fuck me. Holy fuck. Before us? God damn it. I... Just got that. See? That's what I'm talking about. Meeting you guys has made me have little infuriating revelations like that almost constantly. Like, now it casts the name of my own planet in a whole new stupid light. Alternia, as in alternate, alternate to what? Turns out it is the alternative to a planet called Bepharus, the planet which came before us, ha ha ha, get it? Whatever jokers name these planets were complete fucking morons. Well, fwh. Alternia is the bomb compared to my planet. And I'm not just saying that because grown-up me ran the joint. Hey, don't let anyone kid you. Alternia was fucking great. I don't even care that my blood made me a pariah. It was worth it worth to live on such a badass planet. Some people like to talk shit about the Empress, and it's true, she probably would have culled the shit out of me on sight, but you know what? I always respected her as a strong leader. She knew how to get shit done and didn't put up with dissension from worthless idiots, and all she did was, you know, take over the entire fucking galaxy. Not too shabby. I used to have that kind of embarrassing fantasy that I would grow up one day and become a Thrashecutioner. Do you know what that is? Question mark? They were like the deadliest squad of interstellar fighters under the command of the Empress. They helped conquer more planets than any other Imperial force, but it would have been impossible for me to make the cut because of my blood. 
So I used to think of all these elaborate scenarios to hide my blood color. Or in the more ridiculous fantasies, maybe I could even prove my worth as a soldier. Like, just be so awesome with the sickle, they would just have to make an, ex an exception. May even be like a folk hero and rise through the ranks to become the leader. Haha. <laughs> Those were obviously just some childish daydreams. I've learned a lot about what being a leader really means since then. Mainly that it's a lot harder than everyone thinks. So I guess I learned to respect who you turned out to be on my world even more than I did already. Because of that. Yeah. The leadership thing is as hard as globes. Could barely get anyone to lift a flippin' finger in my session. And now it's like that all over again, trying to raise this army. I really don't know how sexy bitch grown up me pulled it off. Oh yeah, how is that going? How many recruits do you have? Want to take a guess? <laughs> oh, still zero, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. Seriously. Fuck the leadership. I know! Well, look, how about this? Later on, when I'm awake, obviously, maybe our meteor will hit a rendezvous point with you again. If by then, you're still looking for recruits, I'll, like, hop off the meteor or something and join your army. <coughs> then we, I mean you and me, and whatever other idiots you've rounded up, can all go fight the invincible demon. <coughs> I don't know why every time I turn around, I'm up against an invincible demon of one sort or another. I guess that's just the impossible kind of thing Paradox Space wants me to prove I'm not some horrible mistake of nature. Anyway, does that sound good? Ah! Oh, but on one condition. As the new empress, you have to point me as a grand executioner of your army. Do we have a deal? Oh, yes. Yes, you got it. Yes. Good. Okay, that's settled. Now I'm going to go for a walk. Do some more thinking. Alone. Okay? Just, uh... Make yourself at home here, in this strange memory projection of my room. I'd tell you not to rifle through my shit, but none of it is even real, so go nuts. Whatever. I'm leaving. Be car cat? Yes. I'm in Terezi's forest. I got a stabbing cane. It would be really unfortunate to be blind and walk around without having. Oh, it's slowed down! No! A sack full of embezzled beetles. <laughs> Terezi, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were asleep. Shrug. What are you here? Why are you here all alone in the woods? Or the pretend woods, I guess. And why do you have your dragon cosplay pulled down like that? Is something the matter? No! I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Don't bullshit me like that. I know when something's up with you. Carcat, please just leave me alone. Okay, I get it. If you want some alone time. I mean, I actually just got done sulking the fuck out of myself just now. But it really helps to talk to somebody. You can talk to me about stuff. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, fuck. Is it Dave? Did he do something douchey again? Did he break up with you? He broke up with you, didn't he? I knew it. I could just see the writing on the wall. He didn't break up with me! It has nothing to do with Dave. Okay, then what? It's my ancestor. Yeah, what about her? She... She's just so... Radical! Huh? I just did not know it was even possible to be so rad. I almost can't handle it, Carcat. The radness. How does she do it? Well, let's see. She rides a fucking skateboard, and that's it. 
pretty much end of the explanation. I think it's so much more than that. Everyone loves her. She is so sassy and fun. She's the best at games, and all her stunts are incredible. How am I supposed to measure up to that? Oh, come on. Don't tell me this is going to be a thing with you now. What thing? A self-esteem thing. You really shouldn't be like that. It's just so unwarranted. Well, that's how I feel. So too bad. Trezzy, I can't stress this enough. You are not in anyone's shadow. Let me tell you something about our ancestors. They're all assholes. Hmm? Huh? She is not an asshole. No, she is. Trust me. They all are. At least the vast majority. They practically aren't even people. They're walking, talking, like, I don't even know how to put it, almost like living parodies of horrible, cliched behavior patterns. What? You mean like, teenagers? Yes. But it's more than just that. Take my ancestor, for example. Total asshole. Probably the worst asshole there is. You wouldn't know it right away because I guess he doesn't yell at people like me. But that probably makes it worse. He just goes on and on about the most sanctimonious and comprehensible garbage you ever heard. He thinks he's better than everyone, but then dresses it up in this bogus hyper-academic humility. He tries to defend people with problems, but just winds up insulting those people in backhanded ways. He lectures people endlessly, and whenever he rises to the defense of his friends, he usually ends up giving them a big fuck you by implicitly judgmental. I could really go on forever about him, but I won't, because then I'd be stooping to his level. <laughs> and your ancestor? Yeah, she's fun, I guess, but talk about a phony. Oh, and I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Losing your sense of smell is not a real disability. Her rad girl thing is such an obvious act. She's clearly worked for sweeps on perfecting it, and quite apparently revels in the attention it gets her. But the fact that she works so hard on it is exactly why you don't have anything to worry about. You don't even need to try to be the good person you already are. See, you already know how to have fun and be likable by just being yourself. It doesn't need to be part of someone over the top shtick to impress people. When she does the ride girl thing, it's like a disguise probably covering up some part of herself she's unhappy with. But when you withdraw and cover yourself up like that, you're actually just preventing people from seeing someone who's already beautiful. I know I completely fucked up with this, with you. This isn't, uh, okay, I'm not, like, trying to redeem myself here. I made my recuper raccoon, and now I have to wriggle around in it, slime. I totally accept that, but as your friend, I really don't want you to start feeling bad about yourself because of one of these shallow, two-dimensional dipshits. But I totally concede that you made your choice about me, and I respect your decision. I just want you to be happy is all. Okay, I'm probably just sticking my foot in my fucking talk blaster here yet again. I'm probably making you uncomfortable. I guess I'll go back to my room now. I hope you take at least some of what I said seriously, though. Um, yeah, okay, bye. Oh, hey, it's you. What are you doing in my hive? Shit, Pyro, don't sniff at me. I was standing around in Shout Cat's place when it all dream switched on me out of nowhere. Did you see him come in here? No. Wait, you looking for him now too? Yes. Good luck with that. The guy's slippery as a goddamn eel. Spent all day tracking him down myself. 
but I finally caught up with him a while ago. Oh? Yeah, and I think we might be going on a date later? What? I mean, maybe? I don't know if I'm misreading his intent there. You might know better than me. What did he say? Well, whatever the case is, later he's going to hop off the meteor and fight Lord Invincible with me? What do you think? Am I reading too much into shit, or, um, shrug? Yeah, guess we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. This hive you got is Cray Cray Pyro. Can appreciate a girl with a gaudy sense of design. Be Mina? Yes. Sup, girl? Mm. <laughs> 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 What the fucking A, man? Okay, um. Yeah, sure. Prince of the Unicorn, this is until the end of Nightmare is Prom. He took a sort of spiritual balance on problem religion. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all this. Yeah, I don't much care. Yeah, I'm done here. Uh, so guys, that was Act 6, Intermission 3. Read by Panaponage. Um, as best as I could. And as fast as I could, I don't know what the time was on this. Hopefully, you enjoyed my rendition of it. Uh, yeah. Subscribe. Bye.